Hello there, we're talking today about how to tighten screws on a chromatic harmonica. And it's such a fun video because who'd have thought that there's so much to it, but there really is. So we're going to be talking about how to handle mouthpiece screws, you know, those, and then the reed plate screws, those types. And let's talk a little bit about those mouthpiece screws that of course go at either end of your mouthpiece and hold the mouthpiece onto the harp. A couple things I want you to be aware of. Sometimes, as in this case, there's a gradual bend put into this mouthpiece. And some people think, oh, it's, it's bad. There's something wrong with it. That is designed in so that when there's down pressure on the two screws, it provides pressure here and pretty much even all the way along because the center point is a little lower. So it kind of pushes down and keeps that on tight. Now, this is what I would call a friction type mouthpiece in terms of this mouthpiece screws because the amount that you tighten those screws, the amount of torque that you put onto the mouthpiece screw as you tighten it up, okay, controls how tight the whole mouth assembly is. But that's only one type of mouthpiece screw. There's others like on a Pissardo that the pressure, the down pressure doesn't really play a role. The part is cut on a CNC die. It drops in to the comb and the screws merely hold it on kind of snug. Whereas in this one, the mouthpiece screws actually are part of the tensioning of the mouthpiece assembly itself. Okay, well anyhow, um, I would say that a couple of pieces of advice I have on mouthpiece screws are, first of all, be aware that if you look on the underside of your mouthpiece, you'll see one end has a channel cut and the other one doesn't. And the reason is that that channel cut must mate with the head of the slide spring. And when you do that, the harp uh, goes together comfortably and, and everything works real well. But what happens a lot of times is that people that are new to working on harps will flip that mouthpiece around and it will not sit flush because it's hitting that slide spring head. So you want to be sure the orientation is correct. And uh, when you bring your screws down on the mouthpiece, um, I would say put them on very loosely to begin. Check the orientation of your parts, gradually take them down, and increase the tightening gradually until you notice that the slide is getting a little sluggish. Now, then back off a little bit from there, and that will be your ideal setting. If you leave them too loose, the harp will not be airtight. So that's an issue, too. So there's kind of a delicate balance there. Now, let's talk a little bit now about the screws on the reed plates. Now I want to show you a few things. First of all, you may not know this, but screwdrivers are sold in different sizes of tangs. This one is a very teeny tang. They're very thin tang, and this one's a little thicker. And you want to match the screwdriver head type to the harmonica screw that you're working with. Otherwise, you're, you could very well you know, damage the head of your unit. You'll notice I'm wearing a little pair of safety glasses because when you're tightening screws, like on this reed plate, sometimes they will break. And when they break, you're going to have a potential for a projectile. I would also say to you that when you are tightening down screws on a reed plate, guide the tip of the screw with your fingertip, okay? Don't just start doing it like this. Take your finger and guide it exactly to where you want to go. And note that this screwdriver is the type where this head turns up here. And this allows you to do this. This is also much, much easier than an old style screwdriver like this one, which really can't do that as well. These are made with pivot heads. This one has it, and this one has it too, which allows you to turn it. And this can stay against the palm for down pressure, while well, the fingers do this. Okay, well, hint number one, when you're tightening down screws on a reed plate, and just so you know, if I were putting the harp together, um, 
I would go ahead and put the reed plates into position and then I would just drop each of these screws in, leaving them sticking up, and then I just very, very gently start bringing them down and tightening them up. So I would, and I usually work from the center out, although I don't really know if it matters, you know, what order you do as long as you're going gradually through the group. But one thing I'll say to you is, let's talk first about how to even get them started. Now I'm gonna loosen this one up. Now what I do to make sure that the screw cannot strip the actual reed plate that it's going into on the bottom part here is that I will turn the screw counterclockwise until I hear it click. Those threads have just cleared the thread in the reed plate and now I can take it in without any risk of stripping the unit. Okay, so again, you turn backwards until you hear it click, then you can take those screws in and they will not strip out um, or, you know, strip out the reed plate. Now here's another um, piece of advice that I think you'll really enjoy. Uh, you have two options when you go to tighten a screw. You can grip the screwdriver with your hand and try to adjust the tightness with your muscles in your arm and your hand, or you can hold the screwdriver and let the screwdriver slip in your finger a little bit to give you your tightness adjustment. And you'd be surprised that that's a better way to do it because you have more control with your fingertips on pressure than you do with your hand. And if you don't believe me, give that a try. Compare this to this. So what I do when I'm coming down and I'm tightening, okay, like in this case, I'd come down and I'll just let it slip. See how it's slipping around my hand, my fingers a little right here? That slip. So that says how tight it's going to be. Now, People over tighten screws on reed plates all the time and they don't need to be really strongly uh, tightened up because these, these harmonicas are very, very precisely made. Now this is a Kongsheng Lira. They all are very precisely made and if the pieces are lined up correctly, it will go together without any forcing of any kind and gentle down pressure. Now, you know, what am I talking about? I'd say maybe two and a half to four pounds is the twist. Not a whole lot, but you certainly don't want to really work at it. And um, so take it easy when you're tightening up your screws. Now, what I'll say on the third area of screws here um, <clears throat> is when you're doing covers, the big trick there is to make sure that the cover is aligned properly on the harp. Because sometimes these will flip over the end on some other makes, not on this Kong Sheng, I won't do it. But you'll get that cover over, and then when you tighten it, It'll, it'll just, you know, be out of position. It'll, it won't even be lying correctly. So always take a look at your parts and inspect. One of the rules with harmonica repair, review what you're doing. Look at it. Question, am I doing this properly? Do the parts fit perfectly? When you put the reed plates on, look, are they lying properly directly into that comb the way they should? And if it doesn't look 100%, don't do it. And again, Beware of the underside of the mouthpiece being in the wrong position. So basically, we've just covered some of the basics about tightening screws on chromatic harmonica. Take your time. Be gentle. You know, a lot of times I'll take them down like a little bit in tightness, then all of them a little bit more, something like that. And then I always go back and I check, did I forget to tighten one? And you'd be surprised how often you'll just have forgotten and one of them is not really as tight as it should be. Always being careful not to over tighten. What if you do over tighten? Well, you're going to strip out the threads and then you're either going to have to put in a bigger screw, but you probably don't have that. Or you could put in, you could actually tap with a tapper and then go with a larger screw. If you damaged your, your comb, you could come in with a coil which you can, you know, screw in. You have to drill, then put in the coil, then put the screw in. That's used in car engines a lot for stripped out threads. Um, but you don't even want to get into that world. If you take it easy and you don't over and stuff, you're not going to have a problem. If the parts aren't fitting, something is wrong, back up. And be careful that you do not damage that slide spring. I hope this has been helpful to you. How to tighten screws on a chromatic harmonica.